Hello everyone. Welcome you all for the session empirical risk minimization. Here we should know the basic terminologies for calculating the empirical risk for given problem statement. So here uh, the optimization is the process of estimating the output that maximizes the performance of the given mo model. So in the te in terms of accuracy precision recall at the same time the model should decreases the error or it is called loss or cost so here the in optimization model is learning the patterns from the known data here the known data is called a training data set or observed data set so here why do we need the optimization in machine learning or deep learning whenever we are designing the model that is fine the maximum value that means maximizes the accuracy precision recall etc it will be the best solution to the given problem statement so whatever accuracy we are getting by the developed model uh, that should be the best solution for the given problem statement so like that it should maximize the accuracy at the same time it should uh, decreases the uh, error in the um, given given problem statement for given number of epochs in deep learning model mostly we are caring about the generalizing the model that means after developing the model in training phase then that model will test the data the data is unknown to the given model so the data is very very new to the model we are going to feed so that unknown data also to be classified perfectly if unknown data is perfectly classified then that model is called generalized model here the optimizer we are going to use that is an algorithm or function which is uh, adapting the neural networks attributes such as learning rate alpha and weights and also bias so here uh, uh, the adapting in the sense the weights and learning rates are continuously updated for given number of epochs until we are getting maximum accuracy and precision by decreasing the uh, error in the given problem statement. So this updation of the weights and uh, learning rate and uh, the bias is improving the accuracy and decreasing the cost here uh, one of the uh, term pure optimization so the pure optimization is uh, called as the optimizing the given problem statement by using true data distribution that means true data in the sense here when whatever problem statement we are taking in particular domain we have to consider entire data um, in the uh, distribution so the uh, purpose of this uh, optimization is we, we want to minimize the cost by using the given model based upon the algorithm so here for example uh, compute the height of indian people the in the age group for example uh, 21 to 30 so when we want to measure the height between the uh, age group 21 to 30 throughout the india uh, the, uh, when we are taking all the people throughout the india then it is called true data but it is impossible to approach entire uh, population throughout the india to calculate the or to measure the uh, height of uh, all the people between 21 to 30 age so uh, to uh, avoid this issue we are going to take some set of people across the india throughout the uh, district wise or taluk wise or uh, uh, panchayat wise we will take some sam uh, samples oh, so for example for each district we will consider 1000 people uh, so for uh, uh, from the each district 1000 people will be collected for the data set then it will give you the approximate solution to this problem that means we can take the average of this all the samples across the india then we can say approximate solution that is close to the uh, actual solution so this data is called training data right so 
we should know the difference between true data and training data to understand the empirical risk so here the learning in the sense acquiring the knowledge through the examining of patterns from uh, training data or experience so that is called learning here then uh, what is the difference between true risk and empirical risk so when you are calculating the uh, output based upon the true data then there is the possibility of error that error is called expected generalization error or true risk so it will be calculated by using the true data distribution that means when you are uh, when you want to calculate the uh, height of each and every one in the india then we have to consider all the people throughout the india to calculate the uh, height so when we were using when we are using the true data then there is the possibility of error that error is called uh, true risk or expected generalization error so here we have we want to minimize that error by using the optimized algorithm directly we are measuring the height of each and every one so this minimizing the cost is also directly uh, related to the true data distribution and another one term is empirical risk this is called expected loss so in real time application to measure the height of all the people is not at all possible that means we are unknown exactly how our algorithm will work on that particular problem statement well so uh, what we will do uh, we cannot uh, take all the data in the true data distribution so so whenever we don't know the uh, true data distribution we can take some set of data that set of data is called training data or known data to measure the uh, to measure the height of all the people so here the model's performance will be tested that means we will give the solution by using the set of data that is training data then there we will get some risk that means loss that loss is called empirical risk so here the true data is directly uh, related to the people uh, are directly related to the data true data but here the empirical risk is only having some set of samples that is the training data it is not having all the people data just it will have only set of people data then we will uh, calculate the average that average will be related to the uh, uh, all the people height uh, that is approximately close to that value so it is not exactly same as the solution but we will get the expected solution close to, uh, that is approximately so the empirical risk is uh, uh, indirectly we are uh, measuring that that is called a straight straight forward function which is uh, based upon the training data so here uh, we can uh, identify how that learning is differing from pure optimization already we know the pure optimization is depends upon the true data distribution the learning is uh, indirectly which is uh, uh, optimizing the given problem statement that means which is using only the training data set the some set of samples from the true data okay that means uh, this data set this data set is a uh, subset of the true data distribution so uh, here we are using the training data set most of the machine learning algorithms and deep learning algorithms uses some performance measure like accuracy precision with respect to the uh, test data set to measure its performance but it may also be intractable that means inflexible it is not able to manage perfectly so what we will do so to improve the accuracy we will reduce the error by applying the optimization over cost function so here that uh, um, optimization will be done by updating the parameters weights and the learning rate uh, uh, throughout the uh, training process but uh, in the uh, pure optimization which is uh, against to that that means pure optimization is minimizing the error directly to, uh, based upon the true data set for example when you are using the 
true data throughout the nationwide population to measure the height of indian people between the age group 21 to 30 so the data entire data is called true data the error we are calculating from the true data is called uh, uh, true risk actually the true data distribution is not known priorly to the model and training data is here just we are taking some set of samples instead of considering entire data this is finite number of data finite count that means here true data we we unknown about the uh, people how many people are uh, in the nation uh, between the age group 21 to 30 but here in the when you are taking set of sample so, so here we, we will know the count of the number of people who are in 21 to 30 we are, because we are uh, uh, we are taking some samples, set of samples between the uh, uh, age group 21 to 30 across India so based upon some district wise or uh, taluk wise or panjayat wise. So, when we are calculating the uh, accuracy uh, in this uh, training data, we will get some loss. That loss is called empirical risk. Empirical risk is here uh, calculated over the large set of people by using mean of independent identical distribution of random variables so random variables is here the people who are involving for the uh, calculation of uh, height measurement right so which is uh, taking the mean of all the random variables which is converging to their mean for growing sample size when you are increasing the number of uh, samples uh, that means for example uh, 1 lakh to uh, 10 lakhs so we will take average of this all the values uh, through the uh, uh, growing of your data set so finally we can uh, say the empirical risk is uh, possible to calculate uh, over the total risk by using some set of uh, training samples for the given problem statement thanks for watching